Hi there, you're watching DJ Diary and my name is DJ Echo. DJ Diary is a short interview web segment where I record a video and I try to answer your questions as best as I can and some of the issues that I see DJs face from day to day. And for today's segment, we're gonna talk about DJ requests and how possibly you could do with DJ requests. So how many of you guys ever face a situation like this? Hey DJ, this place is about to pop. Why don't you throw on some Charlie Daniels? Good call. And then this would be your reply to the person who has asked you for a request. Nobody tells DJ request what to play. Let them tell you what to play. They lose respect for you. They lose respect for you. You lose control. Not today. All right. Now, I don't think your reaction would actually really be as exaggerated as DJ requests like from the movie The Goods, which I put the link for the trailer down in the description. It's a really, really hilarious movie. Love that clip. I'm sure that a lot of you actually feel the same way as he does, where you feel that if you let the audience tell you what to play, you might actually lose control of the dance floor. Um, well, from my experience, I can tell you that's actually not true. Most times, a lot of the requests that I get when I'm playing at a club, and I'm an active DJ playing in a club in Singapore, uh, they tell me and they guide me on what I should play to the audience, but I don't always play requests because sometimes a request just won't fit. And then when a request doesn't fit, how do you deal with that and how do you talk to a difficult customer who could be drunk, could be angry, could be their birthday, could even be like, you know, their wedding proposal because I've had that at the club before. Now for what I actually do when I'm actually in the club and I get a request that I can't play, I just ask whether or not could I play something else or if I could fit it in much later. Most times people are okay with it, but anytime someone gets really, really touchy and really, really angry, the only thing I'll do is call security because that's the only thing you should be doing instead of picking a fight at the DJ booth. Now when it comes to requests, the kind of gig that you're doing also matters. For example, I play at a place that plays commercial top 40s in an open forum style in Clark Key in Singapore. So if a request comes my way, it really depends whether or not I can fit it into my set and then I will think whether or not I should play it. But then I also do things like dinner and dances for companies, weddings, and birthday parties where I have a lot of requests constantly and you know when you're in that kind of situation you just kind of want to do it because everyone's having a great time. You know? The flow of the party isn't so much you but everyone at the party. And then finally like um, boiler room sets like I recently did one in Pioneer DJ Vietnam Center. Link in the description, go check it out. Uh, when you're doing sets like a boiler room set or a fixed set or when you're a guest DJ trying to show off your music, I would say you can say no to requests because at the end of the day, you're there to showcase your skills and the people there are here, there to hear your music. Now at the end of the day, what I want to complete this video with uh, is by saying that how you do a request, no matter how you do it, whether or not you play a request, whether or not you tell someone no, is that we should always be kind and polite to an audience member no matter how rowdy and unreasonable they may get. Because at the end of the day, what we do as DJs, um, we're entertainers. We have to keep professional and the audience member is basically the person who eventually when they spend money at a club or they hire you or they pay money and buy drinks and stuff like technically they're paying our bills so remember first and foremost to be kind and to be polite to the people around you no matter how rowdy they get i'm gonna end this video off with a short little clip from the goods which uh, I think it should be a mantra for all DJs. No, not really, you know, but it's a really, really funny thing that you could sit at home and like recite to yourself uh, after like maybe a really, really tough night at a club. So I hope to see you guys soon and remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you guys. Every day they will push you to the brink. You must fight them, DJ. Fight them. <laughs>